Hello everyone, it is me, Butterfly Spirit, aka Michelle. So guys, today what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing a video on numerology. This is going to be an introductory video for those of you who don't know what numerology is and um, want to know how it can benefit you in your life path, okay? Now, um, I'm going to go through um, a few different questions uh, in this video so that um, it keeps me on track and it also kind of keeps you guys on track about what I'm going to be talking about. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I discovered numerology and talk about some of the studying I've been doing in numerology. I'm going to be talking about how numerology has improved my life. I'm going to talk about what numerology is. I'm going to talk about where numerology came from. I'm going to talk about what numerology can be used for. And I'm also going to be talking about how numerology has improved a famous numerologist's life um, in particular because she has, you know, been using numerology for a lot longer than I have. So I want you guys to see what the long-term effects are uh, for someone using numerology and stuff like that. And um, the numerologist that I'm going to be talking about whose life has been improved, um, her name is Michelle Buchanan. Uh, she has wrote books on numerology. She has her own numerology um, card deck as well. Um, numerology oracle card deck and stuff like that. Um, you can look her up on the internet, but um, I did in fact happen to read one of her books as well as a couple of other books that I'm happened to be reading on the subject. All right, so guys, let's go ahead and get started. How did I discover numerology? Okay, guys, so um, one day I had decided to go to the library and I was browsing through the library and um, what happened is is that I came across this book that I thought was interesting um, in the book that I happened to find at the library I happened to have it with me because I bought my own copy of it um, because I thought it was an interesting book to have and stuff so this was the book that I found I'm so sorry if you guys cannot see it um, from the glare so the book that I found at the library was called Do It Yourself Numerology. And I was intrigued by like the I was intrigued by like, you know, what was going on on the cover and, you know, just the name numerology because I didn't know what numerology was before. But, you know, I just saw this book and I was intrigued by it, you know. Here's how thick it is and here is the side of it and stuff right here. Um and um basically um, I picked the book up and I started looking at the back of the the back and I started reading the summary about it and this book in particular talks about basically um, how numerology can help you to learn secrets about your personality that maybe you are not aware of and stuff so um, I read I believe the first part of this book um, and I didn't read the other half because the rest of the book is about like all the different personality types and stuff according to numerology. So this was the first uh, book that I picked up. Uh, let me give this aside. The first book I picked up and I read right here. Okay. All right. So um, so I picked it up and I decided to check the book out uh, from the library and um, I started reading it. Uh, I started reading it during a very beautiful time of year um, when the weather was really nice. It was like, you know, 80 degrees outside and stuff. It was very beautiful. And I went to uh, a few times. I went to the park and read the book and stuff like that. I'm a reader, so I like to read. Not everybody likes to read, but I do and stuff. And um, so I started, you know, reading and stuff. And I read the book and I was intrigued by it. And the first day I was at the park reading the book I just showed you, uh, which is called Do-It-Yourself Numerology, then I got a feeling that 
I would be doing a lot of work, particularly with numerology. So I got my calling for numerology from this book. And the sign, you know, could have came from my spirit guides, my higher self, or whatever, but I just had this knowing that I would be, in my future, I would be working with numerology. And so um, after I read um, this book about numerology, after I got done with this, then um, I wanted to learn more because I didn't just want to know about how numerology impacted the personality. I wanted to know more. I wanted to find out where it came from. I wanted to find out just more stuff about it because I was really intrigued about it, you know. And I wanted to see, so to speak, how deep the rabbit hole went, you know, with reference to numerology. So um, I did visit a, um, a New Age store. And they had a book on numerology, but the book was really expensive um, that was on, like, the history and the science of numerology and stuff. And it was really expensive. It was, like, 30 bucks, and I did not have 30 bucks in my pocket at the time. So I was like, oh, man. So um, one morning, I happened to be um, on Google, and I um, happened to think about numerology. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if there's any free books that are, you know, online, like PDF books, you know, about numerology. And um, I happened to come upon a book that was from, it was, give me a second. Let me, give me a second to look here. Okay, so I happened to come upon uh, a book which was called the Secret Science of Numerology, The Hidden Meaning of Numbers and Letters. And the book was by a lady named Shirley Blackwell Lawrence. Okay. And, um, and I was astounded because I was like, oh my gosh, I found a book that's going to take me deeper into learning about numerology. And I was really happy. And little did I know how deep that book was going to take me into numerology and what it was going to teach me. It basically taught me a lot of stuff. I'm almost done with this book. Um, the book has, I believe the book has about uh, anywhere between 28 to 30 chapters in the book. So, um, and I'm giving a rough estimate because I don't want to be like shuffling around looking. But yeah, it's about like 30 chapters in the book and stuff. And it's like mm, about 250 pages. So I've made my way pretty well through the book. I'm like, right now I'm at, right now I'm at chapter 28. So I'm almost done with this book. I've been reading this book for a long time um, and stuff. And it took me some time to get to chapter 28. I got like two more chapters of the book to go. And I'm really excited about, you know, having, you know, gotten art in the book and stuff. Uh, another book that I was reading um, that I completed was called um, The Numerology Guidebook by Michelle Buchanan. Um, and that book was very, you know, um, it was an easy flowing num numerology book. And it talked about the different types of numerology numbers and stuff like that. And their meanings and different types of themes in numerology and stuff like that that I talked about. Um, and I'm going to share some of those themes um, in this video with you guys so that it can help you get a better understanding about numerology. So basically numerology, I was kind of called to it. And, you know, right now I am still studying numerology. Um, uh, currently, since I finished the um, numerology guidebook by Michelle Buchanan, and that was like 200 pages or so in itself, I'm now reading another book that is called The Numerology, um, The Complete Guide, I believe. Um, and it is by the author, which is known as Matthew Goodwin. He is a very well-known and famous uh, numerologist. He wrote two volumes on numerology. So his book is called Numerology, The Complete Guide. Um, if you guys want to look it up and stuff like that. Um, and his first volume of Numerology, The Complete Guide, 
is 400 pages. And uh, his second volume, I believe, is the second amount. I just started uh, the Numerology Complete Guide um, by him. And uh, volume one, and it is 400 pages. And I just started, and I'm making my way through it. I just started like a couple of days ago and stuff. So, yeah, guys, I'm like really deep into numerology because I got a calling for it. And I feel like it's something that's here, you know, to help me and other people and stuff. So, um, my hope is, is that um, I'm going to get good enough in numerology that I'm going to be able to use it to help people have better and happier lives and stuff like that than what they're having and stuff. So, um, yeah. All right. So, guys, let's keep on going. So, how numerology has improved my life. So, um, I haven't really been working with numerology for a long time. Uh, I've been working on numerology, I believe, for like mm, about four months now that I've been working with numerology and studying numerology and stuff like that. And I'm making pretty good progress with like my research and stuff. And, you know, I'm practicing numerology right now on myself, personally. Um, so, you know, I'm working on figuring out my numbers and what they mean, what it says about me and my reality and how I can make my reality better, you know. Um, one powerful way that numerology is impacting me and those of you watching is that um, numerology impacts me through sending me synchronicities. For those of you who don't know what a synchronicity is, synchronicities is basically repeating numbers. So it would basically be um, three digits or four digits. Some people refer to synchronicities as angel numbers and stuff like that or whatnot. Um, but a synchronicity is basically um, three digits. So it could be, you could see like three fours, for example, like you can see 444 which is a synchronicity that I see. Um, or you could see a synchronicity that could be four digits long, which could be something like 1111, which is a well-known synchronicity uh, that a lot of people see and they want to know what it means because you know, it just has this powerful impact on people and they just want to know what it means and stuff. Okay, So a synchronicity could be three digits or four digits long. Um, a synchronicity could also be something, it could be, a, it could seem like as a coincidence, you know, where, you know, somebody happens to be talking about something that you're talking about, you know, let's say you say, um, you know, I want a pizza. And then, you know, let's say you happen to get a call from a friend that, um, you know, your friend invites you out to pizza, you know what I mean? Like, that's a synchronicity, you know, or maybe somebody, you know, you you want information about something and then somebody you don't know comes to you with information about something that you wanted to know on a particular type of subject or solving a situation. That's also um, a synchronicity in itself and stuff like that. Another great synchronicity uh, that people don't know is, um, well, everybody knows, but they really don't know that it can impact you in a good luck way, which is the 777, which you guys would see if you, you know, you've ever been to a casino or something like that, and you get the 777, it means you won big, right? Uh, you won money. Well, I've seen a 777, and yeah, it can mean good luck, and it can mean you're going in the direction towards money. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty great synchronicity for you to get, you know? So yeah. Um, so synchronicities can come in different forms. Most people know it through, you know, the numbers like 1111 or three fours or three twos or three fives or whatever. Um, or, you know, do four digits, 12, 12, 40, 40, 10, 10, stuff like that. Um, a lot of times you'll see synchronicities. You can see them on a clock. Um, you can see them, you know, on a billboard, you know, you can see them <clears throat> just about anywhere, okay? Um, and if you see a synchronicity, just to point out if it is a synchronicity, um, let's say you're, you have this thought about, I don't know, let's say the thought about going to a baseball game, you know, with a friend, and then you see a synchronicity like you see the three fours well that means that basically 
synchronicity saying, yeah, go ahead and do it, you know, go ahead and go for it. Now, the specifics on a 444 can, it can be different than that, particularly if you always see three fours, because it may have more of a special significance to you. But tentatively, synchronicities are basically telling you to go for certain things. Now, there are some synchronicities that warn you, like 333. Um, or 333 when you see it because it is a sign from the universe that you are to be careful and watch out for things to happen. I have a video on um, the 333 synchronicity which you guys can go ahead and check out uh, which I made this morning um, and I you know drive home how important it is for you to watch out for the 333 synchronicity. Okay. All right. So wow we're at 15 minutes. Goodness. Information. Information. Alrighty, so um, yeah, um, I live my life by synchronicities, and because I do, um, I go by the synchronicities I get in the form of if I see, you know, a synchronicity, you know, based off of, you know, whatever it is I feel, then I know to move forward with something or not to move forward with something. Okay, um, it's kind of a guiding force and. Um, through synchronicities, spirit talks to us. The universe talks to us. God talks to us. Your spirit guides talk to you. Your heart self talks to you through synchronicities. This is just one of the ways they communicate with you, um, which is through synchronicities and stuff like that. Okay. All right. So what is this famous numerology? Okay. So I'm going to read from you Michelle Buchanan's book on what numerology is okay so these are um, from her book the numerology guidebook all right so she says numerology is the study of the relationship that numbers and letters have with our personality and life events it is an ancient metaphysical science that reveals the blueprint of every human being's life. And it is one of the most accurate and powerful self-help tools available today. Okay. She further goes on to say, in other words, your numerology profile, okay, so these are going to be numbers that you'll get, um, uncovers the blueprint of what your soul has pre-chosen to accomplish in this life. One of the benefits of numerology is that it can uncover your destiny and life purpose and the life lessons you'll face along with the way which is valuable information if you want to make the most of your journey. Numerology is so much more than predicting the future or choosing the ideal partner, date, or name. It's the bridge between who you are now and who you have the potential to be. It's a stepping stone that enables you to live your best life and be the best that you can be. Okay, so this, these words are coming right from Michelle Buchanan's book, The Numerology Guidebook. Okay, so that's an explanation of what numerology is. Okay. And it's awesome, right? All right. So where on earth did numerology come from? <clears throat> okay. So um, numerology, let's see. So in her book, Michelle talks about <clears throat> where numerology came from. And I'm going to kind of elaborate on some information else that I learned in other places. So, um, Numerology. Let's go to the basic. Okay, so there's different types of numerology uh, that exist. Okay. All right. So from her book, she says there are several systems of numerology originating from various civilizations, time periods, and locations across the world. It is said that it originally dates back thousands of years to ancient civilizations of Atlantis, Babylon, China. Egypt, India, and Greece. Okay, so uh, she refers to uh, a system of numerology called the Chaldean system, 
And the Chaldean numerology, um, this was the, I believe this is the older, the oldest system of numerology. And um, it was used a long time, way back by the ancients, okay? Um, it is a numerology that can be used now. Um, but I don't really know too much about Chaldean numerology. Okay, 